we have Ivan Daminov from the Firewalker Gym down there in the Midlands and the local fighter from just down the road at the GFC in Bury the one and only Andy Thrasher and again okay joining me at ringside okay the main man himself Liam Harrison Liam your thoughts on this fight young man yeah we've got um, we've got the bigger round one. the bigger fighter Ivan against a smaller man Andy Thrasher but Andy has got the experience he's got the ring craft he's been in there he's seen it he's done it Ivan, he's not as had as many fights, he's not as experienced, but he does have the weight advantage, so this one is going to be another exciting bout, Sandy. So there you go, experience smaller, this is a bigger, less experienced, but possibly stronger. Let's see what happens. Interesting either way, an interesting matchup. Not the original opponent of Andy Thrasher, yeah, but Ivan did come in, and it was, he has, plenty, has had time to train for this, you can see he's superbly conditioned. Yeah. Flash made, I think, was it 69 kilos was this fight? It was made at 69, even fought two weeks ago and he won the ISK Commonwealth title. He stopped Mike Egan in two, uh, two or three rounds. Um, Andy was originally down to fight Imran Khan at 67, but Imran, uh, he had a boxing fight and got knocked out, so he's unable to fight due to medical reasons. So Andy had to move up weight to set his fight against a newly crowned Commonwealth champion. So we've got the Commonwealth champion versus Andy Frasher, two-time world champion. So... Looking like an exciting fight. Uh, Andy's opened up a few solid kicks so far. Um, but even, he's big, he's strong, and I think he'll try and push the pressure on Andy like that there. Yeah, with exactly there, yeah, trying to bully him. Yeah. And Andy's gonna have to rely on, like you said, that experience, Liam, isn't he? Yeah, definitely, and he, he has got that experience. He's been in there with some great fighters, Andy. He's fought, um, it's like a pitch Ingram gym. Um, his last fight, he fought a very big, experienced tie for the WPMF world title, which he lost closely on points. So, um, he, he has seen it all. Yeah, that's true. And he's obviously, like yourself, fought here on this prestigious venue, brought together by Daz Morris and the Salford team. Yeah, um, he even been in there with some good fighters as well. Like I mentioned, he stopped Mike Egan in his last fight. He's been in there with Chris Addis up at 72 kilos, which is five kilos above Andy's normal fight weight. So um, it, this is going to be really interesting. Well, I've watched Andy fight probably over a dozen times. I've only ever seen um, Ivan on video, so you've probably got a bit more, you know, a bit more information in than I have, Liam. So you know, it's, it's sort of a, it's a first for me to watch him fight live, actually. Yeah, he might, Ivan is not he's not the most technical of boxers uh, fighters, he's, but he's a good boxer. He is very very tough. He's physically as strong as they come, and he's huge for 69 kilos and he is very very fit he will be a handful for anyone at that weight and he's using his height his reach and his size to good effect at the moment but said that and he's dealing with him reasonably well too he's managed to cope with this with the uh, the reach advantage up there by using his timing well yeah and he's trying to fight off the back foot um, but even he's having some success here um, with some punches and some good kicks. Um, pretty close first round. But uh, Ivan, he, he does look a lot bigger than Andy. Noticeably bigger. Andy, he's going to have to rely on every ounce of experience and ring craft he's got here. So it's five three minute rounds, full tie rules. There's a two minute rest period for these fighters. Understand them when they're fighting this level, this professional level. Corners, 10 seconds. Seconds out. Round two. Round two of five. Full tie rules. Both fighters having a measure of each other in the first round. Ivan using his reach to full effect. Andy happy to fight on the back foot counter fighting. Yeah, he landed some nice low kicks and a nice body kick there to open the round, did Andy? No title at stake for this fight. Both fighters obviously having the, leaving the metal wear, the silver wear at home, and both having a prestige fight. And that's good to see, because you don't have to have a title fight every single fight. You know, sometimes it's good for these fighters to have just work through some normal fights and just, you know, do what they do best. Nice. Nice take down there from Andy. Yeah, like you say, Sandy, the titles, the they do look great on your man up piece in that break. It's who you beat for the title that counts. And these are two good guys, top of the game, up there in the rankings, just going to have it one-on-one, -on -one, no titles. 
and um, they're giving us a great show here at the Reebok. Yeah, absolutely. We'll have a change of referee too from jump up to the uh, awesome Mr. Tony Myers. Good to see him in there. Nice. Nice side teeth yeah, there from yeah, Andy. That's right. And again. Two can or side kick as you say, yeah. Good to see that. I don't see that kick that often. And it is part of the Muay Thai arsenal. People assume it being like a kickboxing kick. It's not. Front round and side. Nice uppercut rising elbow there from Andy. Andy's yeah. very, very dangerous with that. Yes. He knocked a guy out in Italy with it, and he also broke uh, a Dutch fighter's jaw with it on the MEN show. He is very dangerous with that shot. So the first elbow of the day comes by the way of Mr. Thrasher. Big high kick there, even just shakes it off as well. He's very tough. Yeah, and goes after him with the left elbow and a nice little, oh, nice spin elbow. Took on the glove of Ivan. Both fighters have now, I think the first elbow has opened the floodgates. This is going to turn into a very grueling fight, I can see Sandy here. Both these guys are as tough as you can get. And they are scared to trade punches, trade, trade any type of shots. Yeah, there's a lot of intent with those strikes, Liam. Every single one from both fighters, they're both delivering them with real intention. Solid round, that, Liam. Yeah, well, going to have a close fought round. Even with the pressure, Andy scoring off the back foot. Um, round three or four are going to be dynamite, Sandy. Well, yeah, we've just seen some great action from both fights from both fighters in that, them first two rounds and just in there in the in the corner of each team we've got uh, from the firewalker gym there fighter who fought against kate stables the other week in an interesting contest that went to a draw michelle newell there we've got andy housen here and we've got the undefeated boxer in the corner helping darren second sound Round three. Put it in this third round. Um, Ivan's still looking very, very fresh and determined look on his face here. Yeah, pressing forward as well. I said Andy's been quite content to sort of fight on the counter, which he's good at. He can, he can go forward and he can counter. Uh, I like Andy's style. And they obviously, with anybody who's watched any of Andy's previous fights, they always know they're going to they're going to be in a bit of ruckus with him. Yeah, he's, he's versatile as Andy. He's got a very dangerous left kick, like you just shown there. He can fight on the front foot or going forward on the back foot. He's very, very skilled. I, even he's very tough though, still coming forward. Nice defence from Andy as well though, as well as attacking, yeah. blocking that low kick solid. Yeah, and he's gone down. He's going downstairs then, Andy, to start that round, trying to chop the big man down like that. That's what he needs to do with the big fella. Yeah, nice takedown again there from Andy. Yeah, this is chopped the big man down, and that's what he's doing. Doing that nicely, trying to take his base. And saying that, we've seen Andy at the end of the other round, he just bring up a left eye kick right to the top of Ivan's head, and that's going to be a good six foot plus there. Tony can get his leg up there nicely. Yep. Andy, he started this round very, very well, scoring with some nice left kicks across the body, across the legs, using the push kick well to keep yes. Ivan off, just using, like we said at the beginning, that experience just to keep Ivan away. Massive Whoa. left hook! This one could be all over! Oh, it's breakdown scene, as they say. Whoa, where did that one come from, Liam? Right on the button! Whoa! He was at sixes and sevens, he was doing the old obligatory breakdown scene. Tony's going to check him out, is he all right? Is he all right? Oh, big light, it's going to be over. It's going to be over. You can't throw the towel in, so he needs to sit down. There. Oh, and it's over now. That's got to be over. It's got to be over. He's saying he's all right. You can't throw the towel in. He's saying he's all right. He's saying he's all right. It's all over. Now he's calling it. The referee doctor's saying, no, he's right. It's a safe further punishment. I think that is the right decision, Liam. 
That, I think that was the... I, I, I of course, it was it the was. right decision. It, it could was. have been stopped after the initial first knockdown. Yes. Ivan was on Bambi legs. He was clearly all over the place. He didn't know where he was. He seemed to have got himself a bit back as the eight count and finished and Tony did the right thing. He let him go on. But that was it there. Um, great clinical finish by Andy Thrasher. Outstanding performance for Mr. Thrasher, showing us what we talked about before. You know, they say size matters, but sometimes it doesn't. You know, and on this occasion, Andy Thrasher, the smaller man, the lighter man, relied upon his experience, which is what he had to do. Intelligent fighting. Okay, Ivan, obviously, you know, coming down away as well. You know, got to give him some credit here for this taking his fight against a world champion. You know, he's got no shame in that whatsoever. He was up against it. Okay, he came here, he gave us a good account of himself. He should go back to the Midlands, okay, feeling that, you know what, all right, I got beat, but I got beat by a world champion, and I, I was in that fight. You know, no shame whatsoever, Liam. And there's the other, they've got that nice little, as we see, Muay Thai above all the other martial Ladies arts, and a nice smile. The friendliness is incredible. Smash each other to bits, After shake hands, and then go and have a drink. It amazes me. Of round three, your referee, Tony Myers, also contest in favor of your winner by way of knockout, Andy Russell. And ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the man from Firewalker, Ivan Damiano.